Welcome back to the weekly report for Randall Riley. I'm Joshua Miller. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into it, okay? This week in job board searches and clicks. We start off with a little bit of good news, bad news. Good news is truck driver click activity increased for the first time in six weeks. The bad news is click traffic was still at the third lowest point on record, only surpassing the previous two weeks activity. Search traffic dipped slightly week over week, but overall search traffic has risen or dropped by less than 1% every week since mid-January. So there's that. Here's a full breakdown of the numbers. Truck driver searches were down 1% week over week and 15% month over month, but up 27% year over year. And for clicks on truck driver postings, we saw an uptick of 9% week over week and drops of 20% month over month and 58% year over year. This week in freight, load postings in the truckstop.com system rose by 5% last week. That comes as dry van increased by 1% week over week, and volume has been holding fairly steady here for the last four weeks. Refrigerated dropped by 6%. That's the largest decrease in five weeks there, and flatbed rose by 9% week over week. Now, this rise sets yet another volume record and is now the sixth time in seven weeks that flatbed volume has set a new record. Truck postings jumped up by 14% week over week, making that the second consecutive week of double-digit gains. It is possible that these recent gains are a direct result of the ongoing surge in new entries into the trucking industry. March notched a record number of newly authorized trucking companies, and so far, April is on track to surpass that number. As you may expect from all these numbers, all three major segments posted gains with dry van up by 7%, refrigerated up by 18%, and flatbed rising by 10% week over week. These increases also come as the ratio of loads to trucks fell to the lowest level in nine weeks. However, for a bit of context here, this low number is still the eighth highest on record and has only been surpassed by the previous seven weeks. Spot rates rose by three cents per mile, reaching an all-time high, besting the level set in June of 2018 by a full cent. These gains came from the flatbed and specialized segments as both dry van and refrigerated spot rates declined. Dry van was down three cents per mile while refrigerated dropped by eight cents per mile week over week. Meanwhile, it was flatbed that was up six cents per mile and specialized was up by nine cents per mile week over week. Both of these rates were higher than the previous all-time high numbers for the segment by at least five cents per mile. And for what it's worth, according to most industry experts, they're predicting that this new normal with elevated rates could last into 2022. Now for our story of the week. With all of these records being set and the market being so competitive, it's more important than ever to take driver feedback into consideration and to strive to improve your driver satisfaction and your overall company culture. At the moment, there is an abundance of freight to be hauled and drivers are in high demand. So make sure you take their feedback seriously. Drivers can see if a customer is honoring their contract terms, if their treatment of a driver is acceptable or not, or if a customer isn't turning freight as fast as possible. Now could be a great time to address these problem areas as many carriers are oversold every single day and you now have the leverage needed to approach these issues with shipping customers. Getting driver feedback can bring these problems to your attention as well as let you get to the heart of the matter with the customer while simultaneously showing your drivers you are listening to them and you're doing everything you can to improve their working conditions. Another key to keeping drivers happy and improving your overall success is doing all you can to eliminate confusion. Driver pay, for instance, can be a source of frustration and dissatisfaction if your drivers aren't totally sure of how things work within your fleet. A recent trend analysis, excuse me, by WorkHound found that 41% of driver comments included questions seeking clarification on issues relating back to driver pay. When drivers understand their pay, meaning they're sure of how it works and how much they can expect to be paid, they are more satisfied with the work and the carrier that they work with. Taking steps to keep drivers happy and help them foster a better work and home life balance is crucial with the current demand. Every driver you're able to keep on the road and happy is one less lead or hire you need to generate. And that's it for this week's report. 
We look forward to seeing you back here next Wednesday morning for another edition with all of the latest data and a new story of the week. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Thank you.